Oh, HD, this workout is for you. I want to remind you that before you do this workout, you should do something to cardiovascularly warm up, get some blood flowing through your body. And I am going to go through this workout with you in its entirety, in the count that I want you to do it. And um, may need to refer to my notes here on my computer. So we're gonna start with legs. We always start with the larger muscle group first. I don't have a bright wall per se, but I'm gonna use this here file cabinet for wall ball squats. I wanna call your attention to your posture on this exercise. Make sure that you're not standing super upright. I want your legs to be out in front of you some and your backside into your ball, right down between say bra line and your butt. All right, so you're gonna lean back into that ball, feet are hip width apart, toes in front of those heels. And I want you to make sure you don't lock those knees. So stop here while they're soft. Don't come all the way up to that lock. And as you do these, inhaling, come down, exhaling, dig through your heels, tuck your pelvis, lift up. I want you to make sure that you keep your knees soft. Exhale, dig up, pelvis is tucked. So you're working your thighs and you're getting a little bit of core work as well. I'm gonna take my feet a little more forward. Inhale, drop down. Exhale, dig through my heels, come up, don't lock. I'm gonna inhale three, two, one. When I come down, I'm not any more than a 90 degree angle. Exhale, press up. Inhale, three, two, one. Keep your chest tall, shoulders back. Three, two, one, dig it on up. And three, two, one. Knees stay hip width apart. Down on one. Exhale, dig it on up, two and three. Down on one. Exhale, dig it up, two and three. You're really pressing through your heels, keeping those knees soft, that pelvis tucked, and those shoulders drawn back. Okay, so now we're gonna do our bonus round. We're gonna go real slow. Down, two, three, and four. Dig through your heels up, two, three, and four. Knees stay soft. Down, two, three, and four. And then up, two, three, and four. Slower you go, the more you feel it. Really feeling those quads here. Three and four. Dig up, two, three, and four. We have one more here. Down, two, Three and four, and up, oh yeah. Feeling those quads, walk your feet back in, grab the ball from the wall. We're gonna head now to our butt lifts. I'm gonna actually turn and go this way. So you're gonna lay on the floor, and you're gonna put your heels up on top of your ball. Feet are hip width, a little narrower, I'd say. And I'm gonna make sure that my knees stay slightly bent. I'm not locking them, watch those knees. Knees stay slightly bent. And the ball can be between your heels and your calf, but I want your knees to stay soft. Your arms are out to your sides, your chin is off your chest. Toes stay facing the ceiling. And you're gonna exhale, dig your heels into that ball, lift. Toes stay forward facing to the ceiling. Inhale, come down to tap. Exhale, lift up to. The goal is to open the hips, Relax head, neck, shoulders. Exhale up for two. Inhale down for two. Exhale up for two. Make sure your toes aren't moving around, knees spreading opening, or toes really touching when you lift. Inhale down three, two, one, and exhale lift. The action should be coming from your butt side. Exhale lift. Inhale three, two, one, and lift, squeeze. Three, two, one, exhale, lift, squeeze. Come down on one, exhale, lift up, squeezing your butt, two and three. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Keep a big space between your chin and chest, eyes focused on the ceiling. Inhale, down on one, exhale, lift and squeeze, two and three. One more time, down on one, Exhale, lift up, two and three. Now we're gonna do our bonus round. Slow, four, three, two, don't rest. Up, two, three and four. Down, two, three and four. Up, two, three and four, nice and smooth, two more. Down, two, three and four. 
and up, tuck that tailbone, chest, shoulders, relax. One more down, two, feet are staying toes to the ceiling, heels under them, right there. Now, when that gets easy, you can change the posture to a 90 degree angle and dig and lift. This is so much harder. Take it easy, wait until you're ready to do that. All right, <clears throat> then if memory serves me, we go on to the side leg lifts. Now, the ball makes this more challenging. So if you prefer not to use the ball, you can simply side lie on the ball. I'm gonna side lie in the view so you see the posture in here. I have the ball right next to me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lean into it and across the side of it. Be careful with your shoulder that bothers you. Keep it more under you rather than extended above you. Stay right here. This bottom leg is key because it needs to be right up against this ball and supporting you so that your top leg can lift and lower. Okay, now I said I was gonna go to a side view so you could see my posture here because this is really important, okay? My hip is over my underside hip. My knee is over my underside knee. I can put my hand under my head to support my head and I gently lift up, lowering down. Exhale, lift up. Notice it's not huge. Keep a flat bottom foot lead with your ankle. Exhale, up for two and down for two. Exhale, up for two and down for two. Don't try to force it. Three, two, one. You're working from the outside of your hip down through the side of your leg, through the side of your knee, maybe even to your ankle. Three, two, one more. Exhale, three, keep your hips stacked, body nice and long and relaxed. Exhale, up on one, slowly lower it, two and three. Exhale, up on one, slowly lower it, two more times. Exhale, up on one, slowly lower it, and one more time. Exhale, up, here's our bonus round. We're gonna exhale, lift even halfway, hold, 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 bring it down. Lift up, hold, 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 bring it down. Lift up, hold, 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 and one more time. Lift up, hold, hold, hold. Nice job. One side down, let's go to the other. All right, so again, I pull that ball right next to me, lean into it while it's touching. Again, watch that underside arm. You can put this arm here. Make sure this knee is in contact with the floor before you try lifting. Nice, long, flat leg, lead with your ankle. Inhale down, don't rest on the floor. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. You're gonna feel this through here. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. It's not about going super high. Exhale, lift. And inhale, lower. Slower, three, two, one, come on down. Three, two, one. We have two more here. Three, two, one more time. Three, two, and one. Lift up on one. Exhale up. See my underside arm is holding my head. Exhale up. Slowly lower. Two more times. Exhale up. Slowly lower. It. And once more. Exhale up. The bonus round is only if you have it in you to do it with good form. Hold, 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 bring it down. Lift up, hold, 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 two more times. Really feeling this, outer thigh, hold, hold, and once more, hold, hold, hold. All right, so again, if the ball is just too cumbersome and you can't get good form using the ball, you can just side lie here on the floor, Underside leg can be bent, lifting and lowering like this. Ideally, your head should be down like this, all right? It is definitely more of a challenge on the ball. Inner thigh ball squeeze. We have you seated doing your knees. Um, I'm gonna see if I can sit right here. Yeah. It's a little low, but it works. I'm just gonna demo it to get going here. So you're gonna sit with your knees, squeezing that ball with the ability to squeeze that ball. So I have the flexibility to be able to sit on it and do this. And until you can do this without discomfort or feeling like this is just shredding your hips, 
you should squat over it or sit yourself down on that coffee table so that you can squeeze for two, release for two. Squeeze for two, pelvis is tough, release for two. I use my arms, squeeze for two because it reminds my body what it's doing. Exhale, squeeze for two, I'm getting some core and release for two. Squeeze slow, three, two, one, release. Squeeze three, two, one. I'm gonna squat down on it. Squeeze three, two, one. As long as you have ball, you can squeeze between your knees, you're good. Two, one. We're gonna squeeze hard on one. Squeeze, slowly release it. Two and three. <sighs> squeeze, slowly release it. Very slow, control. Squeeze, slowly release it. And once more, squeeze, slowly release it. Now that bonus round is a squeeze, hold, hold, I'm back on my feet now, and release. When I squeeze, I tuck my pelvis, shoulders draw back. So I'm not here, I wanna keep my chest and my shoulders nice and tall. Squeeze, hold, hold, nice job. Okay, I'm gonna add something here, and it's gonna be back at that wall. Belly button to your spine. Tuck, bring your legs back. My feet are hip width apart. I'm gonna lift up on my toes and lower. Exhale, upper two, you can hold the ball. Lower two. Lift for two, what do you think? Cap. Exhale, lift for two and lower. Go slower. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. One more, if the ball against the wall is a challenge to find a place, you can do this without it. Exhale, lift on one, use your arms, slowly lower two and three. Exhale, lift. It's harder because I got nothing to balance me with. Exhale, lift. <laughs> and exhale, lift, side view. I'm gonna exhale, hold, hold, hold. Come on down. Knees are soft, pelvis is top, hold. Hold, come on down. Hold, 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 and one more time. Hold, hold, hold. Very challenging balance wise. Okay? All right, now that concludes your uh, lower body. So now I added one in there. Let's move on to upper body. So you have your band, no money exercise. You're going to stand feet hip width apart, pelvis is tucked. So you have a soft knees. When pelvis isn't tucked, we tend to have like a, a rounded lower spine. So tuck that pelvis, protect your lower back, keep those knees soft. Your palms are upright. Open it out for two and in for two. Elbows stay directly under the shoulders, out for two and in for two. This is scapula, it's all the backside of your shoulders, in for two. Exhale, out for two, and in for two. A little slower, three, two, one, and in. Three, two, one. Elbows stay right at your hips. Shoulders are low and relaxed. Exhale, three, two, and one. We're gonna open on one, palms up, thumbs lead out. When you open, don't round that spine. So some people you go, mm, like this. No, you wanna keep that pelvis tucked, Nice posture. Make sure those knees stay soft. Exhale out. Now the bonus round here is to move slow. Four, three, two and hold. Come in, two, three and hold. Out, two, three and hold. In, two, three and hold. Two more. Out, two, three and hold. And in, two, Three, one more time, pinkies in, thumbs up, out, two, three, and hold, and in. Nice job. Next up is your tube pull down from your bow flex. And I don't have anything as high as the bow flex, so I'm just going to use my uh, elliptical arm here, but you're going to be more from up here, okay, which is better. So this isn't a true exercise 
Let me go a little higher right here. All right, so uh, if memory serves me, palms facing you, holding grips, exhale, bring to your thigh and your hips. Okay, so now let's try. So palms facing you, exhale, come down for two. I'm gonna go a little farther away just to create some resistance. Inhale, chest, exhale, palms to your thigh. Pelvis is tucked, knees are soft, Shoulders are pulled back, in for two, thumbs up to the shoulders, exhale, thumbs down to your thighs, in for two. All right, we're gonna go slower, chin up, neutral, three, two, one, bring it on. Three, two, one, bring it on. Three, bands can be very dangerous if they're not put on a stable surface. Three, two, and one. Okay, I'm gonna exhale, press on one. Slowly bring it in, two and three. Exhale, press. Inhale, slow, two and three. Sit back into your heels. Make sure those knees stay soft. Shoulders are low and relaxed. Exhale, press. And inhale, two and three. We're going to go nice and slow. Four, three, two and hold. Uh, releasing, two, three and hold. Three more. Elbows are soft. Press, two, three and hold. Release, two, three, you have two more. The slower you go, the more you feel it. Two, three, and hold. Keep that pelvis top, shoulders relaxed. Elbows at your hips. Exhale away, two, three, and hold, and in. Nice job. All right, then we go to bicep curls. Yes, and triceps with the two. Bicep curls, and then you do one at a time. Put a, a free weight in your hand. Feet are hip width apart, toes in front of those heels, pelvis is tucked, knees are soft. So this is the posture, look at the line from my shoulder to my elbow, to my hip, to my ankle, all right? My knee's not part of that because if it, if it were, I'd have to be straight, so keep that soft. Start with your hand at your hip, you're gonna exhale, bring it up to your shoulder, chest, inhale down for two. Elbow is glued to my hip, exhale up for two, inhale down for two. Exhale, up for two. Inhale, down for two. Exhale, up for two. Don't throw your body into it. So I see this a lot. Three, two, one, and down. So nice and still. Three, two, one. Bicep, elbow close. Three, two, one more time. And three, two, one. You're going to exhale. Come up on one. Up. Pelvis is top, slowly lower it, two and three. Exhale, up, nice posture. Slowly lower it, two and three. Exhale, up. Inhale, lower the elbow stays right at my hip the entire time. Knees are soft, up, sitting into my heels and slowly lower. We're gonna go four counts slow. Four, three, two and hold, and down, two, three and hold. Up two, three and hold, and down, two, three and hold. Two more. Up, two, three and hold. My hand on my belly, just reminding my belly button to stay tucked to my spine. Exhale, up, two, three and hold, and down. Nice job. Now we're gonna go left arm bicep, check that tricep. Tricep with two, palms facing in front. Exhale, close the thigh. It's gonna look really similar, that tricep exercise. We're gonna exhale up, inhale down. Again, feet are hip width apart, pelvis is tucked up, nice straight line. Elbow stays under shoulder, which lines over that ankle, hip. Exhale, up for two, and lower down two. Keep belly button to spine. Slower, three, two, one, inhale down. Exhale, three, two, one and down. Exhale, three, two, one more time. And three, two, and one. We're gonna come up on one. Exhale, up, bicep. Slowly lower right here, two and three. Exhale, up, slowly lower it, two and three. Exhale, up, slowly lower it, and one more time. Exhale, up, slowly lower. Okay, we're gonna do our four counts slow. Four, three, two, and hold. 
down, two, three, and hold. Do it again. Four, three, two, and hold. And down, two, three, and hold. Two more. Exhale, up, two, three, and hold. And down, two, three, and one more time. Exhale, up, two, three, and hold. And down. Nice work. Nice work. Now, your next exercise is triceps. And again, I don't have a good overhead location for this, but if I did, I'm gonna show you here, I've got my bow flex there. You're gonna press away and then in. So elbows, palms face each other in front. Exhale, palms press away and bring it on in. So pretend I have both arms working here. Exhale, press away for two. Bring it in for two, soft knees, pelvis tuck, shoulders relaxed. Exhale, press away. Inhale, come in. Okay, I'm gonna go slower. Three, two, one. That elbow stays right at my side. Three, two, one. Bring it on in. Three, two, one more time. Both arms are working. Three, two, I have to be my overhead hold here. So only one of mine is. Exhale, press on, slowly returning two and three. So this should look different. Exhale, press, slowly return two and three. Exhale, press, slowly return two and three. With your other exercise, exhale, press, you are going to your thighs. So four, three, two and hold. This one's going back a little in, two, three and hold. So your press downs only went up to your thighs. This one's kicking back a little bit, just to your hip. Two more. Exhale, four, three, two, and hold. To an extended arm, not locked. And one more. Four, three, two, and hold. And release. Yeah, so I don't have anything overhead. I had to do that one arm while the other arm held. Your other exercise was from here to here. Here to here. This one is here to here. All right, I'm gonna also add to this. So you did a resisted exercise like this. Now I'm gonna ask you not to use resistance. Make a 90 degree arm pattern. I want you to exhale open until you comfortably can with no pain. Inhale, bring it on in. Exhale out for two. Inhale in for two. Exhale out for two, palms face each other, palms face away, in for two. Exhale out for two and in for two. Come slower, three, two, one, bring it on in. Three, two, one. This is a shoulder mobility exercise. I don't want you to have any discomfort doing this at all. So say it hurts when I get back here. What I'm gonna do then now is I'm gonna exhale out on one and I'm gonna go much smaller, see? Inhale in, two and three. Exhale out, smaller. All right, if it doesn't hurt, go ahead and use your whole range. Exhale out, but don't tap into hurt. Work within a, a non-hurt range. Out, slowly in, two and three. Now go slow, four, three, two and hold. Shoulders are low and relaxed. In, two, three and hold. Out, two, three and hold. There's no resistance. In, two, three and hold. Two more. Out, two, three and hold, and in, two, three and hold one more time, out, two, three and hold, and in. Now make sure when you're doing this, you're not rounded, you're soft in your knees and your pelvis is tucked, okay? Now to end, just shrug right and shrug left, do both twice, all right? Again, I want you to stay out of discomfort. Now this time go left, right, left single, Right single, do both. And up. Again, we're gonna go single right, left, right and left, do both, up and down and up and down. Last time I'm gonna go single left, shoulders are over those hips, right and both. Up. Nice job, nice job. Now, if you can inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, 
and inhale, exhale. If you can comfortably bring your hands behind you, lace them together and put your thumb sides into your bum and gently draw your shoulders back without discomfort. This would be a great daily stretch, at least doing it after you've done your workout. So not just there, but gently pulling back. You should feel a nice stretch through the front side and maybe a little bit of your chest. Again, I want you to stay out of anything that's sore or hurts that shoulder. All right, I'm gonna let that down. I'll bring that right arm across, touch my left shoulder, gently lift and draw that across with some gentle pressure. Grabbing just above your elbow. Again, my posture stays nice and tall. Now I'm stretching through this backside. Inhale, exhale, breathe. There's a lot of tension that collects there. Inhale, exhale, breathe. Nice job, drop it down. Left hand to right shoulder gently lift so it's in line. Okay, if it creates pain to do that, keep it down and just gently draw it across. I want you to feel some stretch through the back side of that shoulder. Inhale, exhale, breathe. And again, inhale, exhale, breathe. Nice job, bring it on down. Now, stick with this until it doesn't feel like it's a challenge any longer. Let me know if you need any modifications or you need more. Good deal.